Hey up YouTubers, happy Oscar nominations day. Today is the 22nd of January and shortly the 91st Academy Award nominees are going to be announced. So I thought I'd do my annual reactions video to the nominees. So if you're a fan of the award season race or if you like predicting the Oscars or you like Oscar prediction videos, this is the channel you want to subscribe to because I do fun, quirky videos predicting who is going to win in the top categories. And also, I will be doing a lot of Oscars coverage on Twitter all the way leading up to Oscars night, which is Sunday the 24th of February. So if you want to see my thoughts on who I think is in the lead, who's pulled back, who might be a dark horse to watch out for, be sure to add us on Twitter. I'll pop that on the screen for you now. I'm actually going to be in Oslo, Norway when the Oscar nominations are announced on the 24th of February, but I will be doing some reactions as it all unfolds on Oscar night on Twitter. And yeah, I will be doing a reactions video the next day. So yeah, be sure to follow us on Twitter and subscribe to this channel. So a few quick talking points before the nominees are revealed. If Black Panther does get a nomination for Best Picture, then it'll be the first superhero film to ever be honoured with a Best Picture nomination. And also, if Roma should get a nomination for Best Picture, it will be the first Netflix film to ever get a nod in that category. And speaking of Roma, Alfonso Cuaron is in a very interesting situation because he could potentially get six nominations today. He could get nominated for Best Picture for Roma, he could also get a nomination for Best Foreign Language Film for the same film, and then he's potentially got Best Writing for Original Screenplay, and then Best Cinematography, Best Editing, and Best Direction. He's doing all right. But if he does manage to find all six of those nominations, he will be only the second person in history to be nominated six times for six different things in one year. The only other person that managed to do that was Walt Disney. There's some other people that could potentially get multiple Oscar nominations. Bradley Cooper could be looking at four if he gets Best Picture of A Star Is Born, Best Director, Best Adapted Screenplay, and Best Actor. And then there's Lady Gaga, who could be looking at two nominations, one for Best Actress for A Star Is Born, and the other for Best Song with Shallow, also in A Star Is Born. And then there's British costume designer Sandy Powell, who could be looking at two nominations for The Favourite and Mary Poppins Returns. As for people that I would personally love to see get nominated, I would really, really love it if Emily Blunt managed to get a nomination, either for Best Actress for Mary Poppins Returns or Best Supporting Actress for A Quiet Place. That would be amazing. I really hope Regina King gets a nomination for Best Supporting Actress. I really hope Olivia Colman gets a nomination. It's not going to happen, but I would love to see Sorry to Bother You get a nomination for Best Original Screenplay as well. And also Toni Collette would be a nice surprise if she managed to get a nomination for Hereditary, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. All right, so they're about to announce the nominations. Here we go. Tristan, a supporting role. Supporting Actress. Yes. Marina de Tavira in Roma. Marina de Tavira for Roma. Oh my God, that's a surprise. Regina King, yes. Thank God. Emma Stone in the favorite. Emma Stone, the favorite. Probably Rachel Vice. Rachel Vice in the favorite. There we go. Wow, Marina de Tavira was surprising. For achievement in costume design. Costume design. Sandy Powell, the favorite, and Mary Poppins Returns. Oh, interesting. Black Panther. There we go. The Favourite. Yes. Mary Poppins Returns. Yep. And Mary, Mary Queen of Scots. Mary Queen of Scots. There we go. Buster Scruggs was a surprise. Wasn't expecting that. Here are the nominees for achievement in sound mixing. Sound mixing. First man. Black Panther. Yep. Bohemian Rhapsody. First man. Yep. Roma. Yes. And a star is born. Nah, not surprised. For the nominees for achievement in sound editing. Sound editing. First man. Black Panther. Yep. Bohemian <laughs> Rhapsody. Mmm. First man. First man. Come on, Roma. And a star is born. Oh, yes, A Quiet Place! Fantastic! And Roma. There we go! For original score. Oh, original score. First man, if Beale Street could talk, please! Black Panther. Yep. Black Panther. Yep. If Beale Street yes! could talk. Yes! Fantastic. Isle of Dogs. And first man for Justin Hurwitz. Oh, wow! No nomination for Justin Hurwitz, and he won at the Golden Globes as well. Wow! So happy Beale Street got the nomination. 
Editing. First man, Roma, A Quiet Place. Black Klansman. And Black Panther, maybe? Bohemian Rhapsody. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Favourite. Yes! Oh, fantastic. Green Book. Really? Okay. And Vice. Wow, I was way off. That was a surprising one. I didn't get any of my predictions right in that category. Wow. Supporting actor, Mahershala Ali, Timothy Chalamet. Yes. Richard E. Grant. Sam Elliott. Adam Driver, yes. Yes, Sam Elliott. Come on, Timothy Chalamet, Richard E. Grant. Yes. Timothy Chalamet, Timothy Chalamet. And Sam Rockwell in Oh no, no Timothy Chalamet. Interesting. Beautiful boys getting overlooked. Chalamet was one of my locks, but he didn't get it. Oh, the anticipation is killing me! Here we go. Here we go, here we go. For best foreign language film. Roma. Capernaum, Lebanon. Cold War, Poland. Never Look Away, Germany. Burning, shoplifters. Roma, Mexico. And shoplifters, shoplifters. Japan. Documentary feature. Won't you be my neighbor? Free solo. Hale County this morning, this evening. Haven't seen it. Minding the gap. Haven't seen it. Of fathers and sons. And RBG. Mm. Your nomination for Won't You Be My Neighbor for Best Documentary Feature. That's a surprise, because again, that one at the Producers Guild Awards. Okay. Production design. Ooh. Yes. Mary Poppins Returns. First man. First man. Roma. Yes. And Roma. Yes. Good category, excellent selection there. For achievement in cinematography. Cinematography. Cold War. Ooh, Roma, First Man. The Favourite. Yes, The Feel Street Could Talk. Never Look Away. Ooh, not expecting that. Roma. Yes. And A Star Is Born. Really? A Star Is Born of If Feel Street Could Talk? Seriously? <laughs> okay. Visual effects, Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War. Avengers Infinity War. Ready Player One. Black Panther. Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin, really? Okay. First Man. First Man, yep. Ready Player One. Yep. And Solo, A Star Wars Story. Really? Black Panther's getting so many nominations for other things, but it didn't get nominated for visual Here effects, like, oh, and it won the Golden Globes. Okay, really? <laughs> Here we go. Here are the nominees for achievement in makeup and hairstyle. American is Scott. Border. Bohemian Rhapsody and Vice. Mary Queen of Scots. American is Scots. And Vice. Vice, yeah. For best animated feature film. Okay. Incredibles 2. Incredibles 2. Rob Price the Internet. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, Mirai, Our Dogs. Dogs, Mirai, yep. Ralph Breaks the Internet, yep. and Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, and Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Yeah! <laughs> good, good, good! Um, for original song. Oh, Shallow, obviously. All the stars for Black Panther. Girl in the movies for Dumplin'. All the stars from Black Panther. Mm-hmm. Something for Mary Poppins Returns. The place where lost things yes. from Mary Returns. Shallow from A Star Is Born. Yep. And when a cowboy trades his spurs for wings from the ballad Whoa. of the I love that song as well. <laughs> ballad of Buster Scruggs is getting a few nominations. God, Netflix is Here doing well. nominees for Adapted Screenplay. Adapted Screenplay. Oh, here we go. Black Man's if Beale Street could talk. Black Panther. What? Wow, this is the surprise one this year. Ballad of Buster Scruggs. Black Klansman, Charlie <laughs> Wachtel, and David Rabinowitz. And Star is born. Spike Lee. 
Can you unforgive me? Can you ever forgive me? There we go. Nicole Hollow Center and Jeff Whitty. At least they got a nomination. It's good. If Beale Street could talk. Yes. Thank you. And a star is born. Eric Roth and Bradley Cooper and Will Fetters. Here are the nominees for original screenplay. Favorite, Roma. The favorite, Green Book. Yes. Davis and Tony the Mack. favorite, yes. Green Book, Roma, Vice. Best performed. Green Book, Nick Vallelonga, Brian Curry, Peter Farrelly. Cool. Roma, Alfonso Yes, Barrow. Roma. And Vice. And Vice, Adam McKay. Good that first performed got a nomination. Uh, Wasn't expecting it to, but out. kudos. Yeah. I thought eighth grade was going to get it. And now, for performance by an actor in a leading role. Christian Bale, Bradley Cooper, Remy Malek, John David Washington. Christian Yep. Bradley Cooper in A Star Is Born. Second nom for Bradley Cooper. Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe in there! Oh my god! Good for him. Rami Malek. In Rami Malek. Capacity. And Viggo Mortensen. Viggo Mortensen. Actress in the leading role. Glenn Close. Lady Gaga. Lady Yelitza, Coleman. Yelitza Aparicio. In yes! Yelitza Aparicio. Glenn Close in The White. Olivia Coleman. Olivia Coleman. Yes! Is the Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is a star in porn. And Melissa McCarthy. And Melissa McCarthy in Can You Ever Forgive Woo! Me? Woo! Perfect selection. Excellent. Apart from here. Emily Blunt. I'm sorry. No love for Emily Blunt. Nominees for achievement in directing. Directing. Oh, here we go. Black Klansman, Spike Lee. Here we go. Good. Oh, there we go. The favorite, Yorgos yes. Lanthimos. Yes. Go, Yorgos. Roma, Alfonso Cuarón. Okay. And last. And Vice, Vice. Bradley Cooper and Will Ferrell. Oh. Bradley Cooper and Will Ferrell. Oh. Yeah, no love Bradley for Barry Jenkins or Peter Farrelly. Oh, it's a God, shame. It and finally, here are the films selected. As Only two nominations for Bradley Cooper. Yep. Blunt, Best Picture, Joy Black Handsman. Yes! The favorite, and yes. The the favorite. Day, yes. Answers. Green Book, Jim Burke, Book. Charles B. Wessler, Brian Curry, Peter Farrelly, and Nick Vallelonga. Roma, Gabriela Rodriguez, and Alfonso Cuarón, producers. A Star is Born, Bill Gerber, And the eighth, come on, suspense is killing me. Final nominee, Vice. Vice. Dee Dee Gardner, Jeremy Kleiner, Adam McKay, and Kevin Messick. No nomination for Best Picture wow. for Beale Street. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, there we go, guys. Those are the nominees for the 2019 Academy Awards. So there were two films with 10 nominations, and that was The Favourite and Roma. And then A Star Is Born and Vice both got eight. And then Black Panther managed to get seven, so very well done there. Black Klansman got six, then Bohemian Rhapsody and Green Book each got five, and then First Man and Mary Poppins Returns got four each. All right, let's talk about Best Picture. So the nominees for that one are A Star Is Born, Roma, Green Book, Bohemian Rhapsody, Vice, The Favourite, Black Klansman, and Black Panther. Great news for Black Panther, first superhero film to get nominated for Best Picture. And Roma is the first ever Netflix film to get a nomination for Best Picture, so yeah. Two bits of history there. Bradley Cooper managed to get three nominations, one for producing for A Star Is Born, one for Best Actor, and one for Best Adapted Screenplay. He didn't manage to get a nomination for Best Directing, but I actually kind of agree with that. I didn't think his direction was stellar, so three nominations is plenty, so he should be still very proud of himself. Lady Gaga, of course, got two nominations. She got one for Best Actress, and also she got one for Best Original Song for Shallow. Sunny Powell got her two nominations for Best Costume Design for The Favourite and Mary Poppins Returns. Actress in a leading role, I got all five correct. Yulitza Aparicio, Glenn Close, Olivia Colman, Lady Gaga, and Melissa McCarthy. No surprises, all very much deserved. Uh, actor in a leading role, Christian Bale, Bradley Cooper, Rami Malek, all expected. Viggo Mortensen was pretty much expected as well. 
I was thinking John David Washington and Robert Redford would sneak in there, but no, nope, neither of them got in there. Instead, it was Vigo, and now we've got Willem Dafoe in there as well, so good on him. Kind of an underdog there. I don't think many people have actually seen Ad Eternity's Gate, but very well deserved. I'm so happy for him. So for directing, we've got Black Klansman, Cold War, The Favourite, Roma and Vice, Alfonso Cuaron, Roma Not Surprised, Yorgos Lanthimos, first nomination for Best Director. Uh, very happy for him there. Adam McKay with Vice, and Spike Lee has redeemed himself and has finally got another nomination for Best Director with Black Klansman. That is fantastic. And also Pavel Pavaklowski? Am I saying his name right? I don't know. But yeah, got a nomination for Cold War for Best Directing. I still haven't seen that film, so that was a bit of a surprise for me. Actor in a supporting role. The big surprise there was no nomination for Timothy Chalamet for Beautiful Boy. No nominations for Beautiful Boy across the board. That was really sad, but yeah, I thought Timothy Chalamet was a lock to get in there, but no, he didn't get in. Instead, we've got Mahesh Ali, uh, Adam Driver, Sam Elliott, Richard E. Grant and Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell was the one I wasn't expecting to get in there, but he got in there. He won Best Supporting Actor last year, and now he's in there again with Vice. So actress in a supporting role, this was another one not everyone was certain about. But we've got Amy Adams with Vice, Regina King for It Feels Trick of Talk, Marina de Tavira for Roma, Emma Stone for The Favourite, and Rachel Vice for The Favourite. Uh, the surprise one is Marina de Tavira, I thought she was definitely uh, an outside chance, but no, yeah, congrats to her, she's in there, which is grand. And yes, Regina King has secured the nomination, so happy for her. And Amy Adams is now her sixth nomination here, so good for her. I don't know if it's her year, I still think Regina King's probably still the front runner here, but we'll wait and see because Regina King doesn't have a SAG or a Baptonon, so that could certainly make for a very interesting race. So best adapted screenplay, we've got The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. Oh my god, how well did Ballad of Buster Scruggs do? Was not expecting any nominations for it, and yet it managed to get at least three. It got Best Adapted Screenplay, it got Best Costume Design, and Best Song, so yeah, congrats to it. Go Netflix, you've done very well this year. And then for Best Adapted Screenplay, we've got Ballad of Buster Scruggs, Black Clansman, Can You Ever Forgive Me, If Beale Street Can Talk, and The Star Is Born. All right, so moving on to Best Original Screenplay, and I got all but one correct here, and that was First Reformed. I was anticipating Eighth Grade would take the fifth slot, but no, the five now are the favorite. First Reformed, Green Book, Roma, and Vice. Production design, Black Panther, The Favorite, First Man, Mary Poppins Returns, and Roma. Excellent to see that Mary Poppins Returns got in there, and Black Panther as well. And also Hannah Beachler managed to make history today because she is the first black female to be nominated for production design in this category, so. Well done to her. And First Man as well. It's so nice to see Nathan Crowley get a nomination. He's usually the guy that collaborates with Christopher Nolan for all of his films. Did a great job there. Costume design. Two noms for Sandy Powell. Mary Poppins Returns on the favorite. Black Panther is certainly very much deserved. Battle of Us the Scruggs. Wow. And Mary Queen of Scots. Unsurprisingly, they love a period film. Film editing. Black Klansman. Bohemian Rhapsody. The favorite. Green Book and Vice. This was my worst one. I didn't get a single one of these correct. What did I put for film editing? I put First Man, Roma, A Quiet Place, A Star Is Born, and Black Panther. And we had Black Klansman, Bohemian Rhapsody, The Favorite, Green Book, and Vice. Yeah. I did so bad there. I don't know shit about editing. <laughs> so for original score, it was interesting. Justin Hurwitz didn't get a nomination for First Man, which was strange because he won the award for it at the Golden Globes, but I'm so happy that um, If Beale Street Could Talk got in there. I think that is such a wonderful soundtrack. That would be my pick to see win. And Best Original Song, When A Cowboy Trades His Spurs For Wings. I'm amazed that got in there, but I do like that song a lot. So that was just a lovely, nice surprise. And then of course, Shallow got in there. The Place Where The Lost Things Go for Mary Poppins Returns. I'll fight from RBG and all the stars in Black Panther. So yeah, go Kendrick Lamar. And it was a very good year for the Brits, apart from the fact that Emily Blunt, who didn't get a nomination, who I was really rooting for. A lot of Brits got nominations. Olivia Coleman got one, Christian Bale, Richard E. Grant, Rachel Weiss, Deborah Davis for Best Original Screenplay with a favorite. Sandy Powell got two for costume design. Mark Ronson got a nomination for Best Original Song with Shallow. He co-wrote that with Lady Gaga. Nathan Crowley as well for production design on First Man. And of course, Jim Beach and Graham Kim got a nomination for producing with Bohemian Rhapsody getting a nomination for Best Picture. But yeah, Star is Born managed to get eight nominations and that makes it the most Academy Award nominated version of A Star Is Born. The 1937 original got seven nominations, the 1954 version got six, the 1976 version managed to get four nominations, and Bradley Cooper's version in 2018 managed to get eight. He's winning! As for Alfonso Cuaron, he managed to get five out of the potential six he was in contention for. He got producing, 
Best Picture. He got Directing, he got Best Original Screenplay, Best Foreign Film, and Best Cinematography. The only one he was missing was Editing, which is a shame. That editing category really caught me off guard. I cannot believe Green Book got a nomination for Best Editing over Roma. Okay, that is a weird choice. As for other snubs, Steve McQueen's Widows didn't get a single nomination. No love for Hereditary, Tony Collette didn't get a nomination. I was surprised that Won't You Be My Neighbor didn't get a nomination for Best Documentary because it has won a lot of awards and it looked like it was the front runner, but no, nope, didn't manage to secure a nomination. There you go, guys. That was my reaction and discussion of the 2019 Academy Award nominees. But I would love to know, what do you guys think of the nominees this year? Please let me know if you're happy with the results, if you're sad, who are you excited for that nomination, who are you angry with that got snubbed? Whatever you think, please do let me know in that comment section below. Who do you think is going to win these awards over the next coming weeks? Put it in the comment section below. Like every year, guys, I will be covering the Oscars race, so be sure to add us on Twitter for all my thoughts and opinions and predictions as to who is going to win. And my prediction videos will be coming out to you over the next few weeks as well for all the big categories, so be sure to click that subscribe button if you don't want to miss any of my predictions videos. If you like predicting the Oscars, this is the channel to subscribe to. Thank you so much for watching, guys, for more things related to the Oscars, movies, TV, and popcorn culture. I'm Luke Airfield, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>